Hey people of Instagram, I'm a bit late. Technically, it's already the next day, but I'm just getting home. And y technically yesterday, but I'm counting it as today because I'm still up and it's only 12.47. It's, John's <laughs> it's John Mayer's birthday. And uh, he's been a very big influ <laughs> influence on my playing and on my lifestyles, actually. Um, for example, I, uh, I'll tell you a few stories that I have involving John Mayer's content and, uh, his music and his whole career. So, uh, how I got to know John Mayer was through the people of Anderton's. Uh, they were uploading videos and constantly joking about John Mayer being just some pop star, but I didn't think it was, uh, anything but serious I thought that, oh he's just some silly little pop star that plays a bit of guitar and I remember listening to the continuum album and, and my mind was blown it was a great album blues album all the way through um well after that I kind of stuck with it for about a year and thought that this was what John Mayer should always do and then I started Diversifying my taste in music. When I heard Born and Raised, I did not know what to think at first, honestly. I was like, what even? Why would he do this? This is not John Mayer. This is acoustic. This is folk. Why? But then it dawned it on me that you should never confine yourself to a certain genre. So I started learning songs off of Born and Raised and singing them and learn practicing my singing voice to Born and Raised. And now I can sing like three, four songs off of their perfect and key. And I'm proud of that. But uh, I remember after that, I was like, all right. So what are these other albums? What is uh, Battle Studies? What is Paradise Valley? What is The Search for Everything? So I listened to these albums, and oh, I love Paradise Valley. It's still one of my favorite albums of all time. Paradise Valley is just paradise. Search for Everything is also up there for me, a top, like, 20 albums, because it's, it's a large balance between his pop and his folk stuff, and it's a healthy balance is what it is. I remember when it came out with New Light, I was so happy about it. Before he even hit 2 million plays on YouTube, I was showing it to all my friends. I was like, <laughs> look how cringy it is, but it's so good. You know, it's a good song with a funny video. All my friends was like, <laughs> it'd be funny if that was a meme, you know. Blew up, became an actual famous meme and got hundreds of millions of streams across multiple platforms. It became a hit for John, actually. <laughs> Hundreds of million streams on his song for someone whose pop days were in the early 2000s. So, kind of came back to the forefront with it. And I'm glad to see that because there was a guitar solo in it. And some guitar work that was really good and melodic. That pushed it to the... Well, that didn't push it to the front, but it got pushed to the front. And millions of people heard it that never have listened to that kind of style before. And that's a really cool revelation. What happened next was the Free Spirit album. Or was that before? I honestly can't remember. I think it was after. Free Spirit was Khaled. I can never say his name right. But uh, when he did a song with Jean Mayer, it's not Free Spirit. It's one of his other tracks. I listened to it and I actually enjoyed it. It was very Still Feel Like Your Man vibe, but it was still good. Um... Moving on, after that, he released his single, uh, I Guess I Just Feel Like. When I just, when I guess I just feel like came out, it broke the guitar community. Because he had this one leg that went, da I never learned how to play it, personally. Because I just thought it was a cool lick. It's nothing that I personally would want in my arsenal or I'll I kind of want it in my arsenal, but not something I would use real regular. People learned it and put it in all of their videos for like 
at least two, three months after it came out. It's the point I was tired of hearing the lick. So when uh, I was listening to the song again here recently, the so the second solo happened, and I went da 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 da. I was like, oh great again. But honestly, it is a good lick. Moving on, here recently he uh, got another single out. Uh, it's so good, "Carry Me Away." I saw a picture of someone had it on cassette. And I listen to like half my music on cassette, so I want one. <laughs> Don't know how I get one. Please let me know. But uh, it, it's just, it's just so good. And to mention the fact that he, I, he, I don't think he does. He says he lives sober. I think he's doing acid, <laughs> honestly. There's little signs he's on acid or does acid for the Grateful Dead stuff, but nothing hardcore. Well, acid is hardcore, but not too regular, I don't assume. Either way, he's. I've. Yeah. I don't even know at this point. I'm just thankful for a man who actually has inspired me to continue my music career and endeavors. Who, no matter if I'm going through jazz, prog metal, or even, you know, standard rock and roll, I can always go back to John Mayer and enjoy it. And the whole Grateful Dead, the Dead Company stuff, it's... He channels Garcia amazingly, except for I think he's better than Garcia, because Garcia commonly, in all the shows I've listened to, and I listen to a lot, I've listened to about... About 10, 11 different shows. Some of them he's no for no perfect on all of them. Others he'll... You can tell he's messing up a lot. That he's not in his zone. That he can't hear himself. But I feel like he is a better version of, of Garcia. Because he can't always hit the right things he wants to. He always knows how to outline a chord instead of playing a chord. You know, perfectly each time. And he knows how to uh, use chromaticism like Garcia would. And even adding his own touch to it. And the whole Silver Sky thing, I tried one and I think it's one of the best guitars I've played. Definitely up there in the top 10. Like, it's solid. It's a great guitar. Um, the one I played had a completely rusted out string, so I didn't really count that too much to the guitar itself. I, uh, I was like... This just needs a new set of strings, and it would be fine. I mean, it was, felt good. Great neck. I like the profile. Didn't hurt my hand. I could wrap my hand around it well. I like the reverse headstock. It does help. Because I play a Fender Strat myself. I also play a 65 Melody Maker, James Valentine Signature, and mid-80s Sigma. And then now, uh, mid-90s Epiphone SG. So, you know, I'm all over the place with my guitars, but... One of them is a Strat, and I like that familiarity. But it's also different, and I like how when I bent, it didn't go out. It's a lot. I know no one's out here watching this to the end. It's just my appreciation for John Mayer. And if you did make it to the end, I question you. Until next time, take care.